uh, Ramsey, thank you for your visit in uh, Germany. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> uh, could you say something about your about the Trangu incarnations and uh, about your monastery in Tibet? Trangu Trangu's reincarnation. I don't know clearly, uh, but uh, the uh, story is now nine of Tango Rinpoche. Beginning Tango Rinpoche started uh, His Holiness Seventh. His name Chudak Janso. He uh, Established Trang Monastery, and uh, when he uh, recognized it, this is Trang Rinpoche, and uh, Trang Rinpoche uh, is uh, he need help to Trang Monastery. Uh, Trang Monastery is in the Come near the this map says Yangtze River, uh, Yangtze River, near the Yangtze River. Then there is now the big monastery, quite rather big, mm -hmm. uh, about 500 or 600 monks, and they are very good active. They, uh, we have monastery in Monastery, uh, one um, philosophy study university and two uh, retreat center. One is one year retreat center and one is three year retreat center. One year retreat center they practicing for foundation and uh, lower like Kriya Tantra and Charya Tantras practicing and three year retreat center practicing six tradition of Narva Yoga and then every monks uh, go to moral conduct and then they study very hard and practicing and also many many monks get realization uh, like a story says uh, some one monk can hold some <laughs> two day or one day then longer days he make like that like that uh, historical monastery but uh, my side don't know, I am really Tangramaji or I am artificial Tangramaji. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, His Holiness is very kind to me. Then he says, uh, I am Tangramaji. Then His Holiness, uh, he also at that time very young. Uh, then uh, his eminence Sutrambuche, Pilis Sutrambuche, and his holiness uh, Jarva Karmapa both gave uh, two letters. And then this letter says father's name and mother's name, and uh, then I born this year, and then uh, how much far from the monastery. Yes. Uh, prophe prophecy is very clear, mm -hmm. very clearly. And uh, His Holiness General Karmapa and His Eminence Thay Sattva, this uh, true monastery so far, but later very similar, very wonderful letter. Mm -hmm. And then also little bit different, my mother's name. Father's name same and the country's name same. And mother's name a little bit different. Uh, then um, my mother's name, one letter says Kalsang. 
one letter says one. Mm -hmm. Then really searching time, then my mother's name calls them one. <laughs> Get it's together. Mm -hmm. Then this uh, wonderful profession, but I am sick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am. Uh, I see my side. I'm not really talking to much. But uh, then his holiness is kind. Then uh, I get Tangul which is name, and then I get good opportunity. I study Buddhism Dharma and practicing Dharma. Then now uh, I get uh, uh, good good Dharma practice. This uh, so his holiness is kind and his eminence dies to us kind <laughs> like that. This, my story. Mm. How many monks were in the Trangu Monastery? Trangu Monastery, uh, this is sometimes go up, sometimes go down, mm. because sometimes uh, many monks die, or new monks few. Sometimes many few, uh, many new monks come, like uh, sometimes 600, or sometimes uh, 550, like that. Usually, yeah. Uh, with your, when you were recognized yes. as a reincarnation of Trangu Rinpoche, uh -huh. were there any examinations as they are with uh, Dalai Lama, for example, like choosing things? Yes. Anything uh, like that? No, no, no. No, no it no, was I just a letter. I didn't know like that. <laughs> <laughs> I just told like that. But His Holiness give letter, yeah. then people believe, and uh -huh. uh, I also believe this letter. <laughs> <laughs> we too. <laughs> Could you say something on your education? Yes. In a few words, uh -huh. maybe. Uh, yes, uh, then uh, Tibetan tradition, then if uh, Rinpoche, like that, and Trangu Rinpoche, Then take a uh, child, like uh, I am uh, take to throne, uh, five years old. Then two years only I stay in monastery. And that time I don't have uh, study education, or only study monastery lives, only how and then connect to monks and uh, like that. Mm -hmm. Then seven years old, then um, I usually I, our monastery have three turkos. One is Talik Rinpoche, one is Suru Turku. They are little older and younger. Then they very kind to me and I am seven years old time, then they put one teacher. Uh, teacher only for me. Uh, then this very kind monk, and he gave the beginning alphabet, mm -hmm. and then slowly uh, one day, uh, one hour or half hours like that, like kindergarten. <laughs> then I started three years, like uh, usually Tibetan education, and uh, also. Preparation of uh, how can do puja, or, uh, how can do practicing dharma like that, mm -hmm. and then this monastery rules. We must go some uh, very high monastery, like uh, must see uh, his holiness monastery. His name, its name, Supu. They are must go and how is doing monk and how is doing uh, Rinpoche's then must look and then coming back and then after uh, I coming back uh, 11, you know, 13 years old then coming back I do uh, like uh, four foundation practice and then few uh, retreat like uh, 
white tara or bajra pani and bajra kilaya uh, also then some poor uh, meditation like amitabha like that uh, i did the retreat uh, one year two years then after uh, some monastic i invite one monk very educated monk from other monastery he is very famous his name is lotu rapsar then we uh, start uh, uh, like uh, buddhism philosophy university then they are our together uh, trained monk and together study five years like uh, abidama and madiyamaka and like that like cetera i study and then like examine examination okay mm-hmm. uh, and then my study finish uh, then 21 years old that time and then talik um, rumuchi is passed and new talib rumuchi is in throne uh, but the, he is very young child then i know after monastery few years but then i didn't get time then i must leave my country because uh, mm, communist then change it's a uh, revolution invasion in the chinese invasion I, yes then i must leave to uh, lhasa and lhasa also not so long then i come to bhutan and then i come to uh, india and i look where is i stay better uh, but i see then his holiness stay in rumtek monastery then i choose there and then i live in uh, rumtek monastery in rumtek monastery about 17 years i study and uh, also practicing and then i give some education to uh, small monks and then small rinpoches then after that uh, then i see uh, then i think maybe i can look for new monastery like mag is benefit to other people and benefit to kaju tradition dharma then i move to katmandu and then they are make one retreat center at the namo buddha you know and one uh, uh buddhist philosophy uh, institute in about that now still not finished but uh, they are working uh, in namo buddha uh, is uh, practicing eight monk and nine monks practicing six tradition of narva yoga and about uh, that uh, one camp of giving teaching to the city philosophy and study about 21 or 20 20 monks mm-hmm. studying there good and also they are keeping moral conduct and then this i think monastery quite well thank you um this my life <laughs> until now <laughs> and you were abbot of rumtek monastery yes and yes. as such you were responsible for the education yes. of the four seat holders of Sita Rinpoche, Shama Rinpoche, yes. Changyang Kongpo and Gangsa yes. Rinpoche. Could you describe the schedule of a uh-huh. typical day of such a Rinpoche? Uh-huh. Uh, how the day was for them when they studied, for example, when they were, were say, mm-hmm. 17 or 18 years old? Mm-hmm. How was a day for them? Mm-hmm. Uh, then, this usually, I think uh, for Rinpoche is not necessary study because they remember and they know but uh, then all they 
looks must study, and then His Holiness Kamapa give order to me, then must give the, uh, uh, this uh, Buddhism education, uh, uh, philosophy education, and then starting that time, uh, Sutta Rinpoche and Nyamuka Rinpoche, that time about uh, 40, 14 years old, and Shama Rinpoche, maybe six, 16 years old. Then beginning starting uh, this Kyapalanjup uh, Go. They say one book's name, Tibetan name Kyapalanjup Go. This meaning like a uh, door of the uh, scholar, this book's name. Mm -hmm. Then I give instruction, this book, that time in which four in which is quite rather young. Then I give slowly teachings and then after Abhidharma or Vinaya and then Madhya Maka, uh, then finish about, uh, I give very detailed and very slowly and then some some books again and again. Uh, this uh, about seven or eight years, I keep instruction. But uh, usually, I think they don't necessarily start. <laughs> <laughs> um, could you tell us something about the importance of the unbroken lineage yes. uh, in the country tradition? Yes, I see. Uh, yes, our Kaji tradition uh, come from usually all Buddhism come from Buddha, of course. Then um, uh, our Kaji tradition come from Buddha, but uh, uh, this uh, long lineage and, uh, and uh, shortcut lineage. Uh, then this shortcut lineage is uh, coming from uh, Buddha Dorji Chang Vajradhara. Then some people think it's very funny. All Buddhism come from Buddha and Gaji tradition come from Dorji Chang. It's very funny. But uh, this is similar. Uh, Buddha's uh, body is Buddha Shachamuni, but his mind is Dhammakaya. Dhammakaya's name is Dorji Chang. Then Mahasda Telopa, he meditated and he recognized and he appeared uh, Buddha's mind, the Dharmakaya, he made. And also then he took teaching from Buddha Dorji Chang. And then this uh, later Telopa give uh, teaching or a transmission to Naropa this true Indian Mahasata. And then one time in Tibet, then many translators, but a special translator is Marpa Loza. Uh, he went to India uh, three times and uh, then very uh, opportunities. He met Narupa and he took teaching from Narupa and the Metripa. Also many teacher, but main teacher is two, and a special teacher is one, Narupa. Then he bring uh, this teaching to Tibet and he gave some his disciple. Especially his disciple, very famous, is Malarepa. Then Malarepa, he took teaching from Marpaloza and also he do strong effort, like now very famous. He do the trade and only uh, so, uh, soli solitude. Solitude. Solitude, yes, solitude. And then he get realization and then he gave teaching to Gampopa. Then Gampopa gave uh, karma, past karma. 
then this uh, uh, one says our lineage guru is uh, so many uh, but one says then Telopa, Narupa, to both Indian Mahasada, and then Marpa, Mela, Gombapa, and then Kamapa. This is very shortcut, like, then Kamapa is always mind, same, then not necessary, uh, long tradition or long transmission or long lineages, then only um, five, six lineages then can get uh, this uh, blessing to us, then this uh, Kamakajit uh, lineage is very short and very fresh mm -hmm. blessing and very fresh teaching like that. <laughs> um, after the Chinese invasion, yes, there was uh, quite some danger yes. for the lineages yes. uh, in the even in the Kaju tradition yes. to be interrupted yes. because many lamas had to go out. Yes. How do you see the situation of the Kaju school today yes. in the West and yes. in Tibet? How yes. what has changed yes. after your opinion? Uh, my opinion is uh, this of course some monastery I destroyed but uh, main Dharma and religion and practice, no danger now, all still okay. Because uh, Ninth Karmapa, he established three monasteries in Sikkim Rumtek and Ralan and Fodong, three monasteries. Uh, they are not development, but still they are alive. Monastery is alive. Mm -hmm. uh, this master, I think, the ninth Kamapa, knows future. Mm -hmm. and he established their three monastery. And then his holiness Kamapa, sixteenth Kamapa, he knows, of course, he knows situation. Then uh, he moved to Sikkim. Then that time India government says he must go uh, other Himalayan mountain side and Bhutan government says must live in the Bhutan but he's uh, uh, for Kaju Dharma activities he says must be better is Sikkim. Then he established Rumtek new monastery and then India government and some many countries help. And then, and then the Rupthik Monastery built. Uh, of course, His Holiness is very difficult at that time. Uh, financial and Dharma activity also not <coughs> power. But then uh, His Holiness make very energetic. He make uh, for uh, usually Buddha Dharma and especially Kaji Dharma. Then make stronger and stronger. Then Rumtek Monastery is okay. Then he and Kalurumuchi went to Europe and America, many different Southeast Asia, many different countries. And then this also very good opportunity. Then that time Buddha's activity come from spontaneously. Then now many Dhamma centers in Europe and America and Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. Then uh, they are practicing and Dharma's teaching and Dharma practicing and oral transmission also now uh, quite good, not so bad. <laughs> there was a prophecy of Padmasambhava yes. about uh, the iron, when the iron birds fly, yes. the Dharma will come to the West. Yes, yes. I mean, it was never before, but it was so easy for Westerners to yes. come into contact yes, with the Dharma. Yes, yes. yes. But uh, the difficulties seem to lie now yes. in another direction, mm -hmm. in, in the mind. Did you find uh, special difficulties with Western minds? Yes. 
when you mm -hmm. met the people in the West? Yes. Are there special resistances or uh, laziness or uh, a special will to mm -hmm. uh, a too great will maybe to yes. practice or yes. could you say something about that? Mm -hmm. This uh, you are true, Pema uh, Sambhava prophecy give like that, this is very true, like uh, Buddha's Dharma coming to spontaneously to all world. Uh, like that. And uh, then now, Western side, I think uh, East India and Tibet, and uh, West Europe and America all same. And they, if somebody very devoted to Dharma and very uh, effort to Dharma, then also European can study and practice. And if somebody no devotion and no effort to Dharma, then they also, uh, they cannot do practice, like in uh, this uh, not different, uh, like uh, all human body, mm -hmm. uh, human, precious human body, European also, precious human body, uh, I think only different, uh, here is uh, brown and black, <laughs> 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 then it's not different. It's just the surface, huh? just the surface. Just, yes, like that. And then now also, uh, now modern civilization's time, people are very busy, but uh, this also no problem, I think. Like uh, Buddha Shachamuni's, his time, he gave advice, his disciples. Uh, that time, like a uh, master, his disciple all begging. Then that time, India is many towns, and then all many uh, hundreds and hundreds of monks can begging, and very easy life and simple life they can practice. This, uh, like, uh, Buddha's times, this time different. Before, uh, what say? Let's say? Before what? Uh, 80, before 80, 81, 82, before BC, BC, BC century, 80 century, BC century. Before Christ. Before Christ, yes. yes. Before Christ's situation. Mm -hmm. And then after <coughs> seventh century, then Dharma moved to Tibet from India. Uh, that time then uh, situation is literally different, country is different, and time also different. Then uh, Tibetan monks not begging. Like countries different, Buddha, India, many towns. Then monks going easy, get food. But Tibetan, few villages. Then 100 monks come one village, then they cannot feed. And then if you go other village, then 10 miles or 15 miles must go, then they beg. It. Then they can get food, but they don't get chance, then practice a chance. <laughs> Always one day go, coming back, then tomorrow again go, coming back, <laughs> then very tired, only one lunch, for lunch, then walking. Uh, 10 miles <laughs> like that, then no benefit. Then they make a monastery group. They make a monastery group and then they make some field, groups field, and some animals, animal give, 
butter and the milk and the peel to give food. Then monastery group gives individual monks give food. Then this easy life. This uh, like a seventh century time. Now we are twenty twentieth century. Then very different situation. Uh, but it's okay. We must do some work. And if they get a chance, then we must practice in Dharma. Mm -hmm. This work also, not necessary cheating or not necessary stealing and not necessary hunting and fishing, not like that. Mm -hmm. We are working this uh, now modern time, very truth, also going to work and writing letter or some, some things, clean and like this, uh, printing and like this work, doing. This is not bad. This is also no contradiction of Dharma. We must do work and then come back. If you get chance, then we must do practice in Dharma. Uh, then this is like a Buddha give begging and now modern time do work in Sen. Mm -hmm. uh, this is very good, I think, a good opportunity. Yeah. This is not bad. Uh, we must work active and they must not cheat in boss. Very good work, then coming back. The boss give money, then we do practicing Dharma. It's very good, I think, not so bad. Mm -hmm. Then sometimes get week and uh, holiday and summer holiday, then we must do sometimes retreat and practicing Dharma. Then we can get realization. Successful or not successful, but uh, this quiet good realization. <laughs> <laughs> this I think okay. This Europe, uh, Western people and Eastern people same. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, practicing Dharma, mm -hmm. not different. Mm -hmm. uh, in our society, mm -hmm. there is great fear of an atomic war. Yes. Many people have fears. I see. Fears of of war, or mm -hmm. fears of school, or fears of uh, oh, yes. the future, yes, what yes. the future might bring, uh -huh. that people lose their jobs and everything. Uh, how should we deal with these fears? I see. This uh, really truth, atomic bomb is very dangerous like that. This uh, also, uh, I cannot say wrong, like uh, some very uh, big man decided like that, but this very, very stupid work, like uh, we build many things, all slowly, slowly developing, one day destroying this really stupid work. <laughs> but, this is our karma, what to do. And also our Dhamma people cannot do anything. Only we do praying to three jewels and uh, then wishing. We do Dhamma practice and also then this uh, dedication to then we wishing prayer, not uh, fighting, not war and uh, not suffering people like that, we do prayer, then I think this better and uh, individually then we do prayer for Tara prayer and praying to Tara, like uh, uh, we practice in Tara and maybe uh, she can help us like that. <laughs> Karma is often seen as something automatical or, or something uh, very yeah, action and response, a linear mm -hmm. thing. Karma. Karma, yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, how is the relationship between karma mm -hmm. and uh, a freedom of will, a freedom of decision? Mm -hmm. is, uh, oh, yes. What is destination? Mm -hmm. Is everything destination? Yes. Or how is the relationship between destination mm -hmm. and freedom? I see. Yes, this is very good question. Very <laughs> nice question. Uh, 
Uh, it's very beneficial for the This, uh, some people think uh, karma is cannot change, and always karma, karma, karma. This is not true. Uh, like uh, uh, we do good karma or bad karma, then uh, this uh, result come. Uh, one life is uh, good karma's result is happy life, and bad karma's life and uh, like suffering life like that, uh, but uh, this lifetime uh, we do uh, virtual action or non-virtual action is free. Uh, this uh, karma is coming to um, physical or economy only. Uh, this uh, freedom is coming in our mind. If mind do Good, uh, good karma and bad karma, this free. Then, like, uh, uh, we, this karma is, karma is like a future, like 100% free. Like, uh, we like, very happy, and uh, good life, then we can do virtual action, like 100%. And uh, if don't like uh, suffering and difficulty, then we must stop this uh, non virtual action. This also 100% free, like that. We can do. And also, some future karmas result now. This also sometimes come obstacles, but this can, this also can move because we do beginning uh, preliminary meditation time, we do doji practice. This for our bad karmas result, removed to pure lives, like that. Uh, this karma is uh, our freedom, like that. If we do bad karma, then not free, but if in a good way, then we are free. This is your question? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, could you give a few words, or by a few words, um, the differences, or a definition maybe, of the words Lama, mm -hmm. Tulku, uh -huh. and Rinpoche, yes. which requirements uh -huh. uh, are there for getting uh, the title of Lama, yes. or of Tulku, or of Rinpoche? Are they given by somebody, or do you do you know what I mean? Yes, 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 I know. Lama is like a Tibetan word. It's Lama is like high. Uh, high meaning is like a, a spiritual practicing than more than what you say, normal people, a little bit high, mm -hmm. like that name Lama. Then we use somebody do. Uh, six doctrine of Narupa Yoga practice, then uh, uh, all people like uh, they get realization. Then this name Lama. Then uh, this Lama means very great, uh, great uh, practitioner. Mm. And uh, then Turku is some great practitioner past, and then this reincarnation come, and some like His Holiness or some Lamas uh, recognize this is uh, first uh, this Lama's reincarnation. They uh, uh, recognize and then they take to uh, like this name put this people's name Tuku. Then small, young time, study and more practicing like that. Then this for uh, holding like Dharma, uh, very good ways. This name Turkus, and this Turku and Lamas different. And then Rinpoche is only people get name. Some people very much like and very much devoted. Rinpoche is like Jol. Then people giving name this like Jol, this man like Jol. Then some 
Tukul can say in Buche and some Lama, uh, high Lama, then people very much like and devotion, devoted to the, him, then they can say in Buche. This is not only title, no, um, no title? No title. No title. Uh -huh. No title. Only people get name. And also, then His Holiness, like very high uh, Rinpoche's name, Yijin Norbu. Then Yijin Norbu is very fish job like that. People give him name. This no title. <laughs> uh, could you give, at the end of the interview, maybe some advice I see. for us Westerners? Yes. When? No. No? No. Yes. Mm. I think uh, no. Advice? No. This, uh, uh, in Dharma, developing in Western, very good way. And uh, I didn't see wrong. Uh, and Dharma Center also quite uh, uh, rather good. And uh, all they are practicing very good. I didn't see this bad like that. I think very good. Then some follow uh, this uh, seat holder of uh, foreign uh, order or this advice you are uh, uh, follow like that. Then it's very good. Then other I can I don't necessary to say something. <laughs> Thank you very much for this Thank interview, you. for your words. Yeah. We hope to see you again soon. <laughs> of course. Thank yeah. you. We must see like Dharma friend. I like it always again and again. <laughs> Thank you. you very much.